Welcome back to our Med Smarter Lecture Series, where we're taking a smarter approach to preparing future physicians. Before we get started, if you'll take just a quick minute and click that like button, and also subscribe and turn the bell on so that you'll be notified when we post new videos. Let's continue on with our discussion of gram-negative organisms and discuss spirochetes. Spirochetes specifically are going to be spiral-shaped bacteria that have an axial filament in them. Uh, three examples of spirochetes are going to be Borrelia, which you can think of that as big-sized, uh, Leptospira, and Treponema. Treponema, of course, is going to be uh, the most commonly known as syphilis. Now, we can remember uh, these three particular organisms as spirochetes as BLT and Borrelia is big. So you've got Borrelia is the B, L is Liptospira, and T is Treponema. Of these three, you can only see Borrelia um, using an aniline dye uh, under light microscopy. And because it is big, we can then see it. However, Leptospira and Treponema are unable to be seen because they are so small. Now, what type of aniline dyes can we use? Uh, these are going to be either your right or your Geme sustain. To be able to visualize treponema, uh, we're going to have to use dark field microscopy because they will not die with those aniline dyes, uh, or we can use the direct fluorescent antibody microscopy. So let's discuss Borrelia first. Borrelia is a spirochete that causes Lyme disease. We get this Borrelia transmitted to humans through the Ixodes deer tick. So the natural reservoir originally became the mouse. So it came from a mouse. The deer became the intermediate host. It doesn't harbor it. It's an intermediate host. The deer tick or the exodes tick then will bite the deer, will become infected with the spirochete of Borrelia, and then when they bite a human, they transmit that disease to the humans. It's most commonly seen in the northeastern United States, and to be able to treat it, we're going to just use doxycycline, a uh, very simple treatment. That's our first line treatment there. Uh, if it does become more severe, if we don't catch it early, we can jump on into amoxicillin. Uh, and then if we do see any type of CNS uh, signs or severe illnesses, heart blocks, then we will use ceftriaxone. Remember, ceftriaxone is a great cephalosporin for anything that is in the central nervous system because ax. Uh, will penetrate that blood-brain barrier. So ceftriaxone will get into the CNS and help with that. So we have three different stages of Lyme disease. Stage one is the early stage where we see that erythema migraines, which is that typical bullseye rash, where you have that central reddened area followed by a clear area and then another circle of reddening. So that's erythema migraines. And most of the time we see flu-like symptoms with patients in that stage. Moving on to stage two, this is where it becomes more disseminated. We can see secondary lesions associated with it. Uh, carditis is going to be very common to see with something like an AV block maybe. Uh, facial nerve palsy uh, is one of the main things with Lyme disease that we see. So that's stage two when you get that facial nerve palsy. And migratory myalgias or transient arthritis. So these can be muscle or joint pains uh, that can move back and forth and not be consistent in one location. And then stage three is our late disseminated stage where we get that encephalopathy or and chronic arthritis. Stage three is definitely where we would be uh, for sure using ceftriaxone to treat, uh, likely using ceftriaxone in stage two as well uh, due to some of those uh, heart blocks. So a way to remember Lyme disease and some of the main key aspects of it is you get a key Lyme pie to the face. So Lyme disease, and you remember F-A-C-E. So F is facial nerve palsy, A is arthritis, C is cardiac block, and then E is erythema migraines or that characteristic bullseye rash. If you found this material helpful for your studying, please like and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, share this video so that more people can benefit from it like you have.